Good day everyone. For today's video, we will discuss about harmonic sequence. Before we give the definition and examples of harmonic sequence, let us have a trivia about harmonic sequence. The term harmonic comes from a property of musical sounds. Let's define harmonic sequence. Harmonic sequence is the reciprocal of the terms from an arithmetic sequence. Take note of these words. Reciprocal of an arithmetic sequence, meaning if you have the given arithmetic sequence, you just have to get the reciprocal of each term and you will get the harmonic sequence. Say for example, in the arithmetic sequence, 3, 5, 7, 9, and so on, take note that these whole numbers are understood to have 1 as their denominator. So if you're going to get the reciprocal of each term, you just have to flip this one and then you'll get one third, one fifth, one seventh, one ninth, and so on. These terms is what you call the harmonic sequence. So, how do we solve for the nth term of the harmonic sequence? I want you to take note of these three easy steps to solve for the nth term of the harmonic sequence. The first step is you have to get the reciprocal of the given harmonic sequence. If you get the reciprocal of each term of the given harmonic sequence, it will give you the terms of an arithmetic sequence. Now because you already have the arithmetic sequence, the next step is to use the formula for arithmetic sequence. And then the last step is you have to get the reciprocal of the final answer. If you get the the reciprocal of the final answer, it will give you the term of the harmonic sequence. So take note of those three easy steps to solve for the nth term of the harmonic sequence. Let's have an example. 1 third, 1 ninth, 1 over 15, and so on is an example of harmonic sequence. So our task here is to, first we have to find the 13th term, and the second is which term is 1 over 117? That means we are going to find for the position of 1 over 117 in the harmonic sequence. First step in solving this one is we have to get the reciprocal of the given terms. So from harmonic, we flip each term and there we got our arithmetic sequence. We have 3, 9, 15, and so on. Since this is already an arithmetic sequence, we will be using the arithmetic sequence formula to solve for the 13th term. So before we do that, let's identify first the given values. We have the first term which is equal to 3 and is equal to 13 because we're looking for the 13th term of the harmonic sequence. And then the common difference, we just have to get the difference of any two consecutive terms. So there we have the answer of 6 because 15 minus 9 is 6 and 9 minus 3 is equal to 6. Then let's rewrite this one. We have a sub 13 is equal to 3 plus quantity 13 minus 1 times 6. And then the next step is to simplify this one by subtracting 13 and 1 that's going to be 12 times 6 that's equal to 72. So let's rewrite this. We have a sub 13 is equal to 3 plus 72. And then we add 3 and 72. There we have the 13th term, which is equal to 75. Take note that this is not yet the final answer because 75 is just the 13th term of the arithmetic sequence. Since we have to give the 13th term of the harmonic sequence, we have to get the reciprocal of the 13th term of this arithmetic sequence. That means the 13th term of the harmonic sequence is equal to 1 over 75. That's the final answer. Now that we're done answering letter A, let's answer letter B. Which term is 1 over 117? And then we follow the same process. We have to get the reciprocal of the given harmonic sequence. So we have 3, 9, 15 up until 117. Since we're looking for the position of 1 over 17 here, that means we're looking for the value of n. And then we treat 117 as the last term of the given 
sequence. So we will use arithmetic sequence formula since this is already an arithmetic sequence. Let's find out the given values. We have a sub n or the last term will be 117. The first term is equal to 3 and then we do not know n because that's the unknown value. And then the common difference is to subtract any two consecutive terms. So we have 6 and then let's rewrite this one. We have 117 is equal to 3 plus quantity n minus 1 times 6. We simplify this one by distributing 6 to n minus 1 and then we have 117 is equal to 3 plus 6n minus 6. Next step is to combine like terms. So we transpose positive 3 and then negative 6 to the left side of the equation. So we have 117 minus 3 plus 6 is equal to 6n. Subtract and add this one. We have 120 is equal to 6n. Last step. Divide both sides by 6 to obtain the value of n. So we have 6 divided by 6 and that is simply 1 or we just cancel that out. And then 120 divided by 6 is equal to 20. We are going to have our conclusion. And it's very important that you know how to conclude. So we have for letter A, Therefore, the 13th term of the given harmonic sequence is 1 over 75. And for letter B, therefore, 1 over 117 is the 20th term of the given sequence. Before we end this video, I want you to take note that the terms of the harmonic sequence are the reciprocal of the terms of an arithmetic sequence. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. If you haven't subscribed yet to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button to update you on my next videos.